Hello friends, today we are going to discuss this question from the code problem number 500, the keyboard row. So in this question, it is written that you are given a, like a word and you have to find out whether this can be typed from using only one row of the keyboard. The question is very simple, So, but you have to just write down these things. Like There can be multiple ways you can solve it, but like uh, I have written down this. So I make a map, three maps, defining each row, row 1, row 2, row 3, for these three rows, and I've just typed out each small letter alphabet here. Uh, I've written out 2 bit 1, to me, to means that, yeah, this letter belongs to the first row. And I've typed out all the alphabets. Then what I've done is, I've iterated over the word array which is inputted and because as you can see in this input they can also be capital letter also but I have only inputted for the small letters so what we have to do is we have to transport it transform it to lowercase the whole string to a lowercase so this let this code is used to convert to lowercase Uh, I will write lower case. So, okay. Then after converting to lower case, we can check whether this word is in the. We can type it using the first row. So we have we have just moved iterated over the four whole length of that word and check whether it can be made from using only the first row. If not, we increment a flag. We have taken the flag variable. And we have done it for all the three rows. Okay. If any word can be made using only one row, then this flag variable will, because like this example, take Alaska. Alaska can be made using this only second row. So the flag of this row will not be increment, but this flag will increment and this flag will increment. So always if there exists some answer the answer will be less than 3 and but if the some mixture of word alph alphabets is used then the answer will always be equal to 3 so if the flag value is less than 3 we have to push back this word into the array uh, for the solution answer array else we don't have to push it and just we have to return that answer I hope you understand this logic this code runs perfectly well. As you can see. Yeah, it is giving 100% on both things. Yeah, so thank you for watching. I hope you understand this logic. Uh, only the tedious work here is writing down this thing. Uh, if if you written down this things, this thing, then the, the code after it is is very fairly simple. I hope you understand this code. If you have any doubt, please mention it down in the comment box. I will make sure to reply on all your comments. Uh, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.